Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can configure NAT overloading or in short, port address translation. Okay, so basically, in the previous classes, we have learned how to configure dynamic NAT and static NAT. And considering this topology here, we use this topology to configure dynamic NAT in our previous class. So, suppose you have not watched. Uh, the configuration of dynamic and static NAT kindly I will leave a link on the description part such that you can access the class and uh, please guys suppose you have not subscribed to my channel kindly support my channel hit on the subscribe button like our video and drop a comment below okay thank you so much and let's begin our class so part configuration part configuration part address translation configuration basically NAT overloading is a type of NAT whereby many private IP addresses are translated into a single public IP address. Okay, and basically, here the port numbers will be used to distinguish the traffic such that which traffic belongs to which IP address. Okay, so basically, in this class, guys, I'm going to show you how you can configure not overloading or part okay pretty much simple as just for a recap in the previous class we learned how to configure dynamic NAT and the first configuration that we will that we were involving based on this topology was to configure IP address to the routers interface and the host devices in the network then we hand we went ahead to configure the routing protocol and finally we configure dynamic NAT okay and now to configure dynamic NAT, guys, we were entering an interface whether it is NAT inside or NAT outside. Okay, then we create a standard access list. Okay, then step three, we were creating a pool of public IP addresses. Then finally, we were mapping the pool with the access control list that we created. Okay, with these simple commands, guys, we were able to configure dynamic NAT. Okay. So basically, we are going to use the same diagram to configure NAT overloading or port address translation. So what I'll do, guys, remember, it's in the same diagram that we used to configure dynamic NAT. So I will negate or delete the NAT, dynamic NAT configuration on this router so that we can start on NAT overloading configuration. So what I'll do, I will negate these commands here. For example, these are the commands that we use to configure dynamic NAT. So I'll negate this command here, okay, and this one and this one. So let me start with this one. So I'll copy it, I'll copy it, and I'll paste, and now I'll say no to this command, okay, no to this command, and I hit enter. Then the second command was this one to configure dynamic NAT. So I'll go to the same route again and I paste and say no to this command. You negate the command. And uh, finally, this was the mapping. So I negate the same command. You say no to this. Okay. And do right. So, I will delete them, okay, and, uh, you know, I will delete also this one, dynamic nut, I will delete this, all of this one, I will delete them. So, let's start by part configuration, nut overloading, or part, part stands for port address translation, it's popularly known as nut overloading, okay whereby many public many private IP addresses are translated into a single public IP address okay now the concept of port numbers will distinguish the traffic okay so I'll go to the same route again guys so, let's start the configuration remember based on this topology guys we configured IP address to these host devices and the router's interface. 
Then we configure the routing protocol to enable these devices here to communicate with these devices and vice versa. And finally, we're going to configure port address translation, the step to follow. Follow very keenly. The step to follow, guys, is to enter an interface whether it is not inside or not outside. So, for example, this was int, int gig 0 slash 0. Then you say IP not inside. Okay. Then this one here was interface serial 0 slash 2 slash 0. Then you say IP not outside. Okay. We are done with the first step. Then the second step, guys, becomes similar to the dynamic net configuration. You can create standard access control list. So how do you create a standard access control list? You just say access list 10. Okay. Then you say permit this network. Any IP address from this network will be permitted. Okay. Permit. 192.168.1.0 .1 then wildcard mask of .0.0.255 okay then after creating the access control list guys now you write the NAT configuration it's only one we can only create one NAT okay and how do we create it follow very clearly so we say IP NAT inside source then the list list access control is list 10 okay then the interface this interface now the not outside interface okay interface serial 0 slash 2 slash 0 then we type this command overload okay pretty much simple with this simple command guys we shall have achieved net not overload configuration this simple command okay the first step is to identify whether an interface is not outside or inside okay then the second step is to create a standard access control list then finally you give a command for not overload which says ip not inside the source of uh, access control is 10 then the interface this interface overload okay Alright, so guys, without any further ado, let's begin our configuration. So I'll go to the router and say interface gig 0 slash 0 IP not inside then interface Serial 0 slash 2 slash 0 IP not outside then exit then we create the standard access control list to say access list 10 okay then permit which network the network the internal users network okay the, this one 192.168.1.0 a wildcard mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.255 okay and you hit enter then finally a command to write not overloading okay ip not inside source list 10 okay then the interface now this interface here interface serial 0 slash 2 slash 0 overload just like that a simple command like and then do right we have achieved configuring port address translation so what i'll do guys i'll test communication and we go to the same router to verify the configuration so let me just type ping from the pc to the servers ping and you and you hit enter so let's just give it time i believe it will ping successfully so i'll go to the the other computer it's pinging so i'll go to this computer again and ping from the computer to the servers ping 10.10.10.3 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 
it's paying successfully. So I'll go to the router to verify the configuration. So I'll say exit show IP sorry IP not translations and enter. You can see guys. These two computers have used the same public IP address to access the internet. Okay? Now what differs here is the concept of port numbers. Okay? For example, a computer with the dot two, as you can see, has used the same public IP address as the computer with the dot three. Okay? As you can see, twenty dot zero dot zero dot one. Now the concept of port numbers. Okay? Pretty much simple. So guys, that's the way to configure port address translation. Okay? So it's just these simple commands. The first command is to enter whether an interface is not inside or not outside. Then you create the access control list and finally a command to write not overloading. Okay? And basically guys that will mark the end of today's class. Kindly support my channel, subscribe and like, leave a comment below and see you again in the next class. Bye.